Back now for the final portion of our program on this Friday night. Maybe you've got weekend travel plans. I will tell you folks who always travel. I know this from personal experience. It's our members of Congress. Diane Black was with us earlier. She is back with us now via telephone from the 6th Congressional District of Tennessee. Diane, I used to call those airplanes my uh, school bus in the sky <laughs> to get back and forth to my district. Uh, you had a, a fairly interesting uh, experience recently while traveling back. Fill us in on it. I did. I had an experience where I arrived at the airport. It was actually in Tennessee, in Nashville, um, on one Monday morning, getting ready to go back to Congress. And I realized as I got out of the car and my husband drove away that I had left my um, license in the back pocket of my jeans. I had gone somewhere over the weekend and forgotten to take them out and put them back in my wallet. And I thought, well, that's not a problem because, you know what, I have my gun carry permit with me. Um, it is a government-issued ID. It has my name, my photo my birth date, all the things that my um, my license has, plus the fact that in order to get it, I had to have a fingerprint and a background check, so no problem. And I walk up to the TSA agent, and he says, we can't use that form of ID. And I said, well, but it's a government-issued um, ID. Why not? And he goes, oh, well, it's prohibited by TSA. And I was shocked. I really was shocked. I had no clue that they prohibited my gun carry permit. And I'm thinking, why in the world would they do that? Uh, especially since we had heard on the news uh, recently, I think it was back in September, that someone um, arrived at the airport and was able to use their Costco membership card to identify. And that's like, okay, now that is not a government issue. Boy, Why I'll is say, it you can use that? So, so what are you going to do about this, Diane? 30 well, seconds. I started to try to do some research on it because I did ask one of my friends who was a TSA agent, and he said, you know, I don't know because I believe that they used to be able to use it, and I think that it then became prohibited. I said, what was the reason for that? And he didn't know. So we're still doing our research on why it was, if it was prohibited at a certain point in time, about which administration did that. And I might take a guess, but I'll do no, I won't do that right now until <laughs> I have well, a listen, certainty here's, there. Here's, here's what we asked, Diane. <laughs> Keep us posted because I got a sense you may have some le legislation afoot. Oh, I do. Oh, I already have the legislation. I just want to make sure I have all my facts correct, but I've already filed the legislation. I have a number Number of folks who have signed on. As a matter of fact, Texas, um, in Texas, their legislation, legislature has passed a resolution calling for us to do just this. And so I didn't even realize that when I filed the legislation. I found that out later. But we already have legislation. It's in the works. A number of my colleagues have already signed on. And we just feel like this is something that's very important, that there shouldn't be hostility toward folks who have a gun carry permit. And if they are legitimate IDs, they ought to be able to be used. Absolutely. They're government-issued IDs. Diane Black, tonight from the 6th District of Tennessee via telephone, we thank you very much. Now, time for the way you see it. Your comments via social media. First comment tonight from Matt, writing in about my interview with Jeb Bush. He writes, I agree with Jeb Bush and every other person who says ISIS needs to be stopped, but until there's a new president, doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Next, it's Vaughn writing in about the Syrian refugees. The other candidates keep practicing their political rhetoric and relish it when the people swallow it hook, line, and sinker. Give the people a break and bring on Trump as soon as possible. We do not want the refugees, terrorists, and illegal aliens. Keep them out. Enough said. That'll do it for tonight. Almost enough said, except for stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.